Hello there guys and welcome to the GeForce. Today we are going to see if we can use some paper springs and some 3D printing to hold up a soda can. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so you've probably seen paper springs before, but in case you haven't, I went ahead and made this little demonstration here. So this is just a very poorly drawn happy birthday card. If we open it, you find a little spring. Now, honestly, this spring could be way more rigid, but I just used some really basic flimsy paper, and you see it has a little cake picture on it. So that's just a small little demonstration of a paper spring. All right, so now that you for sure know what a paper spring is, let's go ahead and take a look at that 3D model. All right, so I have gone ahead and designed the little wafer, as I'm going to call it, in Fusion 360. You see it's just a square with some rounded corners, and this will hold our Coca-Cola can. So let's go ahead and send that off to the 3D printer. All right, so as you can see, it is now day, and I've let the printer cool off overnight. So let's go ahead and get these off the build plate. Ta -da. All right, so as you can see, we are now at the kitchen table, and we have all the parts we need to make our stand. So I just cut out four strips of paper, not the same size. I tried to make them the same size, but they didn't come out the same size. So there is that. I need two of the little wafer things. So what you do on these is you just kind of fold them. One way. You fold them back. The other way. And then this process just repeats for all four of them. All right, there's one spring. Now we have just three more to go. Number two. Final one. And there we go. All four springs are done. I just realized I need to grab some tape. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I am back with some tape. And if you had double sided tape, this would be better. But I'm just going to take this and I'm going to fold it. Going to fold it. If I can get it folded, man, this tape does not want to fold. There we go. It's definitely not the best fold, but it's a fold. And we just stick it onto one of the one of these. And we just Plop it down onto the print. Now to do that three more times.
All right, so now we have all four springs attached on the bottom wafer. So now we'll just try and attach them to this top one and see what happens. All right, so now I got all the tape on all the sides. I'm going to attempt to put the tape under all of these. And would you look at that? It doesn't stand up the best, but it stands up. All right, I'm gonna go grab a soda can and try and put it on here and see if it works. All right, so I got ahead and grabbed a soda can, and let's see if it can hold it. Oh, would you look at that? It can't. I wonder if I put these springs on the, try to put the springs on the inside. It would work better. Nope. Well, all right. Let's see if we can add another spring to it. So I will be right back. All right, so I've added another spring. So let's see if we could put this can on here. And we still can't. So I think the answer to the question of, can you use paper springs build a little stand for like, let's just say a soda can. That answer is no. But you can hold other things on it, maybe such as this tape, or this pencil, or maybe even some ketchup packets. But anyway, that's all that I have for y'all. If you've enjoyed this episode, Please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching the G-Force.